Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Claudia Monticelli, the host of this podcast, Let's Talk Soul. Over the years, after having interviewed so many people on so many different topics, I realized that what interested my audience wasn't really the individual topics per se, but was how it impacted them, how it touched their soul. So I'll invite you all to lay back, put your feet up, and if you like what you hear, leave a review, five-star review. I'd appreciate that. So just enjoy your listening. Today I'm here with Seth Santoro, a nice Italian boy from the name, but we'll find out. And he's talking to us from Los Angeles. Seth, say hello to our audience. Hello. (laughs) So awesome to be here. I'm so happy and honored. Another wonderful radio voice. Perfect. Now, who (laughs) is Seth? Seth, who is he? Who is he? All right. He tells us, he tells me that his dream is to be an intuitive spiritual advisor to presidents and prime ministers around the world. Now, that's a tall order. I wonder why. I'm going to ask that. We'll lead with that, okay? Um, As an intuitive business coach and healer, so he is, he does the work already. He combines his passion for corporate America, coaching acumen, and metaphysical gifts of intuition and mediumship. Given his intuitive psychic gifts, he helps people to connect with their deceased loved ones, animals or humans, um, to see, understand, and move beyond their past, present, and not so distant future. Over and we'll I'll ask you to clarify that too, okay? Uh, overcome any obstacle or challenge and then uh, tell them what they need to hear and see. I'm going to um, call you out on that as well <laughs> and Amazing. identify their root problems and challenges and navigate through the tough times in their lives and understand death, the dying process, and what happens after people die. He's also a certified death doula. Um, let's start with that last. What does a, a certified death doula do? <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, I, I think the um, the designation is like an end of life doula. Uh, Expert if you or, or coach, end of life coach or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh So essentially I help not only the person passing, but I also help their family to handle, manage, deal with the situation at hand. Yeah. Um, And then as a medium, I can help an intuitive. I can help the people before they pass and after they pass as well. So let's say that you really straddle, you know, like myself, you straddle both worlds, but Mm -hmm. you sort of um, take people by the hand, something, uh, you know, that's very much needed yes people absolutely yeah in their grieving process um now let me go backwards with what i was saying and then i'll go way 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 back okay (laughs) so um you said one of the things you do is to see understand and move beyond their past present and not so distant future now how would you do that if not if we're not talking about death We're not talking about their death or their uh, loved one's death. What do you do on a one, I guess, on a one-to-one basis? Yeah. Yes. Uh, With a person to move beyond their past. Can you walk me through it as if I were one of your clients? I I ring you or I I write to you and I said, hmm, I saw this on your website. Hmm, Maybe (laughs) you can help me. Uh, What do you mean here by moving me beyond? What does that mean? So essentially, I mean, without doing like a a demonstration, when people come to me, they're looking for answers, right? So Uh, whether as- Yeah, sure, sure. So usually this context is more from an intuitive perspective, right? Like what's going Uh on with their life now? Mm -hmm. So I help people identify that which is going on, that which has just happened to them, that which is going on now, and Uh then give them a little bit of taste of what the future is to come, which they can Can, change. Could we make up a fake client and and say Mr. X or Mix- Miss Y came okay. to me with, um, I don't know, 
I don't know. She just. Oh, was... sure. No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll right. give you an example from yesterday, actually. OK, well, we um, don't want the names, of course. So okay, go ahead. Okay. OK, so there was a nice, lovely lady who came to me yesterday and yeah. she had three questions. That's it. Mm-hmm. She just she wanted a reading and she wanted clarification on three questions. Um, so all of the questions. Well, one of the questions was, did I do the right thing? With and did my she tell you? OK, she estate. told you the story. OK, and she did. Well, she, at first she didn't. Uh-huh. Um, and I. I said, okay, so this is intuitive and mediumship at the same time. And I immediately heard, no, you're doing what you need to do because it's going to cause you way too much overwhelm, way too much anxiety and way too much stress in your life that you So her need. mother had passed. Is that? Yes. It? Okay. Yes. Okay. Like two years ago, three years ago. Okay. Um, so she needed to hear that because the first thing she did was sigh. Like, okay. oh. Like it made her feel immediately better. Okay. And then I was like, okay, so tell me more, right? So then I heard the quote unquote past and what had transpired that our mother had passed, that he she left her this property. Uh-huh. Uh, I was in Mexico and she her mother had dreams for the property. Uh-huh. You know, up until the present, right, of what right. her decision has been, which uh-huh. is give it to one uncle who's helping her right. her house right. here. Right, right, okay. So, yeah. so past, present, and then the future is... But, I just want to know over the next couple of months, Uh the brothers and sisters of the mother are going to have issues. And she's like, they already do. And I was like, well, it's going to continue for the next couple of months, three to six months. Mm -hmm. You know, and I gave her a little bit of about what to do, right? Like how to talk to them in a way that they would understand how Uh to, how to say that this, you know, this is my decision and Mm -hmm. I don't like, this is the best thing I'm doing for myself. So it's essentially taking the past and her present choice right uh-huh. to then tell her like this is what's going to happen in the next couple okay months. all right now now that's that's that, very common also to me as well i i, awesome. I didn't that's good this is interesting now there was one <laughs> other thing i wanted to um call you out on no 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 okay okay no i got you i got you now so what's a nice boy like you doing in a business like this <laughs> <laughs> well, don't laugh come on i love that question me. well i yeah no, i don't i don't even know how to i where do i, I know... start high school yeah, yeah how about high school uh, I, I, is it high school well, when did you when did all this crazy business no <laughs> i know um i'm a new england born boy i grew up in mm-hmm. new york city and then I'm, i became like an adult here in los angeles so i feel i had always had fun experiences throughout high school and college and then for in example my 20s, what do you mean what meaning do you mean by- meaning i used to play this party game where i uh-huh. would guess where people were from ah. right? <laughs> so to like the state or the country or whatever and i would usually get down to like the city or i'd get pretty close um mm-hmm. and uh, and i always thought it was a party trick but yeah. it turns out that that was p- me partly training for uh-huh. my intuition and sure. mediumship sure. so it took until i was about 32 it's like okay. 10 or 12 years so later you're on now, the west coast but, already yeah yeah i'm on the west coast and i i was dating pretty much unavailable men for quite a while <laughs> always unavailable <laughs> boy. Always. yeah and well, i know they, a lot of people like that <laughs> and they couldn't really love me the way i wanted to be loved right. or the way i needed to be loved or they uh-huh. didn't understand that and they had a lot of issues and i knew that uh-huh. i just kept trying or healing them but that wasn't my job my job right. was to be their okay. partner, right? Okay. Okay. So after one major kind of like I one major relationship, I woke Emotion. up. And I was like, so it's one major emotional experience. Yes. Okay, yeah. good. That yeah. I think the universe was like, well, I, I I literally said, I woke up and said, I deserve so much better than you. And I mm-hmm. know that you can't give me that. So I'm gonna go elsewhere. Um, mm-hmm. And the next day, it was like the universe was like, "Okay, you're ready. Well, you're you're ready. now ready. Yeah, you're, you're ready." ready. <laughs> and then, and then I just couldn't stop feeling. Okay, like everything, everyone. Interesting, interesting, yeah. interesting. And it all started with mediumship, by the way. All right, um, now, what do you mean it all started with mediumship? Well, before I say that, Come I, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> When I, when I was 20, 21, I remember uh-huh. one of my best friends had passed away and it was like several weeks after. Yeah. And I, I was in the bathtub. I remember, cause I never, I don't like baths and I was in the <laughs> bathtub and I said to myself, I want to help presidents. I don't want to be a president, but I want to help presidents yeah, and prime ministers. Yeah. That's why in some I, way. Yeah. I, that's, that's what I wanted to get back to. Yeah. <laughs> why? And, 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 why? And kinda, because I feel like they can make because they're game changers. Because they're because... Pri- usually stupid. And, well, they need... and they, I <laughs> they don't help. think they understand. 
yeah. like they don't understand necessarily everything that I understand about life. Mm. And they may understand the politics. They may understand the constitution. They may have been lawyers, blah, blah. But I understand like the spiritual aspect of life. Well, you I know understand. that most people in high level uh, government have their own intuitives or astrologers. This is very common, you know, it's very common. I didn't know it at the time. Oh, though, oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. But now I, now I do realize that. Um, yeah. But yeah, so, so the 21 fast forward to 32, all this stuff was happening. And I just couldn't, I just started feeling information about people as I was, for example, I was sitting across from someone and her mother had passed 10 years ago. And I just knew there was a woman around and she said, she just mentioned in, in that, oh, my mother like the 10 year anniversary is coming up soon. Yeah. And all this information started flooding me. And I was like, just out of curiosity, because I didn't know what I was doing right. at first. And so I said, it just had a curiosity. Did you grow up in a house with like a white gate or had a white fence, red gate and a pink like ribbon on it with a pool <laughs> on the other side? And she's like, how could you possibly I know, know that? That is amazing. It's so much fun. And I mean, it's fun. It, it does. It, it gives you, you know, your hair stand on end because you think, how could I possibly know, you know? Um, yeah. Now, yeah. one thing, uh, you you know, when I usually interview people, I always yeah. tell uh, my audience as well, I we work on an, um, a questionnaire. So I get to know the person on paper and I know sure. uh, what I could, you know, propose as topics. And in one of these topics, um, Seth wrote a day in the life of a psychic medium. Now we're not there yet because, <laughs> because it's not a day yet in the life <laughs> of yet, yet. But um, before I go there, I wanted to ask you, a lot of people who are listening have asked me numerous times over and over again, I would like to do what you're doing. And first mm. of all, the question is, do you think people can be trained to do that? Uh, second, um, second question that I have to you before the training is in your work, do you, um, can you, or do you put up your boundaries so you get the information when you want it? Or do you feel overwhelmed as if things just, you have downloads all the time? Okay. Which one do you want me to answer first? Well, they're both, I, well, I let know. me do this one first and then we'll talk about the training. Okay. Okay. I, um, I can pretty much for the most part, like 85, 90% yeah, of the good, time. Good, good. Okay. That's good. Handle what's going on. Right. And, and handle, okay. like if someone's coming through, sometimes it just happens. It depends on if, yeah, if I'm yeah. in a more and relaxed can you, Well, I mean, you're at the supermarket and you just can't right. have all this stuff coming in. I mean, right. you, so, you can manage, right? So I can manage. I can manage. 85 my husband, is good. Uh -huh. My husband can't. He's a he cannot manage it That's all. Like, not good. That's not you know, good. You go freak. Yeah. You I mean, you've got to work on that. He's got to work on that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, now, yeah. now we know there's a husband. We know there's another person <laughs> in the but but before we get to that, let's yeah. let's do the day in the life. And before we go to the day in the life, what about the training? Do you think it's possible for a person to be trained to be a medium? I believe that everyone has gifts, intuitive right? gifts. Yes. I believe that everyone can tap into their intuitive gifts. Mm -hmm. Gifts. I believe that I believe that mediumship is like one step further. Than, further than. Further than the intuitive gifts that I believe okay. everyone okay. can yes. can train for, right. practice skill. Right. I do think that you can practice a lot and trained to be a medium but i do feel like you have to have a propensity for it a thirst a curiosity um and a calling well, let's let's it. let's um use the example of a musician okay or a and a physician okay. all right and if i asked you could anyone learn to play music that's similar to what the answer that you yeah. just gave me yeah. yes if they want if they right. ultimately want to, they can learn. And the Absolutely. physician, obviously, they do all those years of training. Do they have a gift? The, the, the key word here is the gift. When is it a gift and when is it trained? You know, can the training morph into a gift? 
I or would... you are given the gift and then you go train, you know, because sometimes in, right. in your case, it right. seems that it happens. And then you try to figure out, well, what is this thing that we call mediumship, right? So it, it is the, it, well, I know I'm asking you too many questions, but, but what do no, you no. think, you know, let's let you, you said yeah. you had a partner and your partner still needs training. It seems if he's, if he can't, you know, put up his boundaries when he wants, get the information when he wants. Ultimately, it's 100%. You 100% of the time, you get the information when you want. And 0% of the time, it just doesn't come when you're doing the food shopping, when you're watching television, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. so let's, I forgot the questions. <laughs> no, uh, first, ahead, uh, musician. I believe it's okay. closer to a musician. Than okay. it is a physician. Okay. I feel like you either get the gift and then you do the training, yeah. or you do the training and then because of curiosity and love and passion and th yeah. then okay. you can you find or yeah. discover uncover. The okay, gift. so that means yeah. ultimately the people who have and 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 I'm talking about at least fifteen a day write to me and ask me if I'm going to give a course on, you know, mm. your higher self and mediumship. Everyone really really wants to be a medium. Sure. Um, so I could tell those people. Uh, that yes, if you really want to, you can. That's what we're saying, right? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now, um, well, and I'm thinking, well, we've finished talking now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, there, there are, um, you, you did have also a topic that had to do with multiple levels of awareness. Now, mm. awareness is a funny thing. Um, you can be aware of everything, really. You can be aware of everything you do, but people just don't pay attention. Now, is the job of a medium, um, does it have to do with awareness in some way? One level Absolutely. of awareness. How? I'm I know squeezing that we're you like a meaning, a lemon. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, go oh, ahead. Oh, no, I love it. Uh-huh. I believe that that we receive information in so many different ways, as you know, right? right? Like all right, the clairs, right. clairvoyant, clairaudient, right. blah, 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 all, all the ways that, we, that one can receive information. Right. I think that's another level of awareness that I don't even include in my right. regular, if you will, levels uh -huh. of awareness. Yeah. So, which I do believe can be developed for yeah. sure. Uh -huh. um, I do, however, believe that for the most part, one needs to have a great understanding of the first six levels of awareness before you can then start receiving information. And the first six levels of awareness are? <laughs> so, I'm, so, I, I have here metacognition. So metacognition is the awareness of awareness, right? So it, right, we can be okay. aware that we are aware, are aware. of something, right, right? right? And only certain animals, only certain species of animals right, can do that. that, right? Like not yeah. all animals. Then inner so, awareness? So inner awareness is the is how you're feeling on the day to day. Like what is your level of contentment? What are you, are you generally happy? Are you generally sad? Are you generally in between? Are you like- So it's at a, an world? emotional level? We're it's an emotional about. level. Okay. Yeah, but it's internal. Okay, so right? then self-awareness? Is how we present ourselves and show up to the world. How other people, the best way is to see how other people see you. And you, that's how. Okay. Yeah. Right. Then yeah. social awareness is, there's a little overlap there, isn't there? Social well, awareness. Mm -hmm. I believe that social awareness is essentially, I use the relation or the, the tree of awareness, like a relationship tree. Mm -hmm. And it's how we have become who we are. So it's understanding how we relate to others, how we related to others. So it's, you know, it includes like your, your growing up, yeah. uh, your relationships with friends, your relationships with lovers, your relationships mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. um, coworkers, bosses. I mean, it scans the whole gamut, yeah. Um, yeah. scans the whole gamut. So social awareness is more how you have been socialized. Okay, so let's round it off with um, uh, you. You also mentioned on how it po how it's possible to live a more intuitive life. Uh, that for me would mean the basis before we get anywhere into the mediumship. And what I mean, what would you suggest in learning to live a more intuitive life? What what is necessary for people to do? I believe healing from the healing from what we've been through, acknowledging okay. what we've been through. All right. Now that's a, that's a big <laughs> step. 
right? Yes. That's a really big step because if I yes. tell someone you really have emotional issues you need to deal with, a lot of people don't even understand that. Well, how? what do I do with them? What do I do with these emotional issues? And I'm I'm at a loss of what to say. Hmm. You know, how do people go about healing emotional issues that they're not exactly sure that they have? I mean, I, I think, I mean, awareness is all part of that, right? I, I really right, feel like sure, awareness sure. is actually integral sure. and the key to that. Right. But with, I believe we need external sources, forces to help us, right? Whether that's okay. a therapist, a coach, okay. an intuitive, okay. a book, you, you uh-huh. I think we need to be, we need to receive information outside Stimulated of ourselves. in order Stimulated. to understand. Right. And it needs to be hurting us more than it is helping us. You mean in some way they need to be aware of their yes. uh, pain. Right. Their, their, right. Their so emotional. if someone says I have emotional yeah, like baggage and they mm-hmm. don't want to deal with it or acknowledge it. Or they don't know how really. This is the right. the issue is where to go. Okay. So so then you mentioned um your partner who is has has he been a medium for a long time? Yeah, his whole life. Really? Yeah. Would you mind talking? about that oh sure okay you know and he's he's south african he grew up uh, in the afrikaans community Mm -hmm. um and which is very very christian very very religious and was that instrumental in his becoming a medium no okay okay (laughs) i think i think that was just part of it it made it much more challenging for him all right okay um because when he was four years old his grandfather passed and then he could see him um and okay. he literally went there to his mother go. and was like so, why why is why am i dying? seeing that right. yeah yeah he's right there so, so this is you know it was odd for me i was expecting a story like that from you because when you get into <laughs> no no really because when you get into mediumship you start seeing things first of all you start seeing things you know and um and that that is interesting but now if that was four years old i imagine he must be at least 30 now or more, right? Mm-hmm. So yes. all of those years, and he's still having issues about putting up boundaries to what comes to him. Do you see what I mean? And that yeah, I mean he can. He's just. Oh, oh, I was I just see. saying he was. He's not as good as I am in terms of. I see like, what you're saying. I'm like you're not coming through unless it's an emergency. <laughs> right. Okay. 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 Yeah. How yeah. do you? And I ask a lot of people who work in this business, what do you do for psychic hygiene? How do you protect yourself? Because we I are walk. really, we're, yeah. we were I open. walk a lot. Yeah. I, it's all, it's really self-care, right? Like I, yeah. I, well. But it's not just simply taking a shower. No, you're right. You're yeah. right. <laughs> you know? So I, well, unless you took a shower with salt, you know, with. Or with intention. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like with I, intention. Like sometimes it's funny because I did a reading once for Dr. Phil's wife um, mm-hmm. and she like the literally the All morning right, t- tell of, us who dr phil is oh so dr phil is a he's a life strategist that oprah has made super famous okay. uh-huh. he helps people kind of deal with what's going on and move forward okay so it's not dr oz right <laughs> this is dr. another oz. one dr phil okay yeah yeah uh-huh. and so um that morning in the shower mm-hmm. i all this information started coming to me and that's usually the day i'm going to read someone all their information comes to me and I'm okay Okay. with that. So, but the the intention in the shower is like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready to open up, you know, Mm -hmm. and that's important. It's also ready to close. It's also important to close down. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, Generally I don't. um, You don't close down? No. So I, and I, I need to get better at it myself just because I'm always, I'm on to the next like fate, like I'm onto this, I'm onto this meeting, I'm onto, because I also do. Yeah, I know, this is the big problem. resources work. (laughs) This is the big problem for us to keep clean is there's just, you know, you got to do it. I guess we got to do it. It's a lot of of noise and a lot of problems we get through this kind of stuff. You know, I think. Yeah, go ahead. No, I think as I'm closing down with someone and I'm telling them to like, I always kind of summarize a a few things of what they need to know or what they need to hear, Mm -hmm. right? Which I may want to talk about too. And I, when I close down, I think I'm also closing down the connection at the same time. I think that's how I do it. But other psychic hygiene Meditation is important, yeah. um, which I could always do more. Yeah. Um, I also 
need to realize that I'm still a work in progress. And sometimes I forget that I'm still a work in progress and have my things. Um, But taking care of myself emotionally, uh, Mm -hmm. physically and spiritually, taking care of those are like around me too, because those influences affect me as Mm -hmm. well. Um, Have you ever been aware that you were under psychic attack? Have you ever experienced uh, that? Not me. Or the effects um, of that? I've not. However, I've helped people. You're lucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. I am lucky. Yeah. Um, but I have helped other people that are under some yeah. type of psychic or voodoo attack. I have a lot of African friends yeah. um, uh-huh. and a lot of South, South American friends, you know, mm-hmm. and so wherever you are in the world, there's always some type of name for black magic mm-hmm. um, yeah, sure. of sorts. And yeah, I've helped people kind of withstand or sever mm-hmm. the sure. attack uh-huh. but i'm lucky that i don't feel like i have maybe i have been but i don't well feel like no I, I mean you'll know <laughs> you'll know when strange things start happening to you in mm-hmm. me for me it happens with physical uh, you know i i i get hurt or i fall in a strange way or you know bump my head or or get a cut or burn my arm you know strange things that just don't happen you know that i know uh, there's something wrong and it's uh, unfortunate that i have to wait to that you know till then mm, to make it yeah. come in that way and i don't realize it otherwise um yes i did <laughs> want to get to having uh telling people what they need to hear um what exactly did do you mean for their benefit or what you have that would benefit them? I, I don't understand that. Uh, I can give you an example. Right. That's probably the best way to do okay. that. I have a client who is married and uh-huh. um, is also closeted at the same time. Uh-huh. Closeted is when their sexuality and their is not made public okay go correct ahead. correct um and he, there's someone that he's interested in right um who's interested in him as well and it could be a really great kind of future together yeah um but what i'm being told like i if you believe in angels or spirit guides right. or whomever i speak to which i believe it's one of those right yeah whenever i speak to them some they're like okay he needs to hear this like don't tell i see him what this. you're saying i see so i see yeah. what you're so saying. it's like i want to say you need to take care of your home first you okay, need to like same, dissolve your yeah, marriage that's first the same you know what i did not in those words but yes tell them that I I get that those exact words tell them that right or if someone wants to have a baby there's people that are so like longing for a baby yeah and you know they will have it the pain yeah the pain is immense yeah with that and you're and you're I don't want to say like oh you're gonna have it next two months because that's not true like I'm an authentic medium I I tend to I believe so I you know I listen and they're like okay tell them that eventually they will and tell them that yeah. it's going to be a, you, you know, you can even tell them a gender if you want. But Yeah. A lot of, um, I've had problems with that because um, people don't accept the, the response, you know? Um, yes. They, they always will, like it. They will have a baby, but it may not be their own, you know, their own biological right. child. And, right. and that has uh, caused me to, to have problems with, with clients. Understandable. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I I tell them I usually preface something like that with I'm telling you now what, what you what need the to doctor, hear. Right? Yeah, right. I usually preface it preference it with you know I'm not a physician. Those are things that physicians right, right. Tell you. <laughs> so uh, you know, I often it, say I'm not a doctor, but right, like I'm right, feeling yeah. this in your right yeah. abdomen, or I'm feeling right, this in your right, right gut. You know, yeah. so go to a doctor. Well, and now you talked about body parts. <laughs> I'm a med- <laughs> medical intuitive. I don't know if you've done oh, that no. work worked with a medical um you know understanding where the nucleus of a problem is have you ever um you could try that i mean there's uh you 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 can try that uh that that is a very interesting um let's say offshoot of the work <laughs> of being intuitive yeah and it's yeah. Fascinating. well i have i haven't studied it i've mm-hmm. read a couple of books on it i i when it comes up I feel like I'm really good at it, but I would never call myself a medical intuitive. I would just say, you know, but I do feel 
There you go. I lost, where... I lost you for a second oh. now. Say the last sentence. Yeah. That... So I would never call myself an intuitive, mm -hmm. a medical intuitive. However, I have had clients that are having issues and I feel uh -huh. it and I talk to them about where it is, what's going on. Mm -hmm. So it has come up in yeah. readings before. Sure. Yeah. Seth, I don't know how to thank you for this. So such a stimulating conversation. And it's answering a lot of questions that my listeners and audience have, uh, mm. or have always had. That's amazing. Please, I hope we can have you on again. Oh, okay. yeah, I would love that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks again, okay. Seth. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.